Good morning, and welcome to another one of my morning mugs. It's raining, <laughs> so I know I'll probably catch a little flack from somebody for driving and talking into the, uh, the camera while it's raining. It's not that bad over here, though. Behind me, it was much worse. So, um, yeah, so what I want to do with today's morning mug... Oh, and, uh, yeah, I got stuff with me today. It's good for a uh, cooler, rainy day. Uh, so what I want to do with uh, this morning mug is that over the weekend I put up a, uh, basically like a poll on Facebook. I mean, there's no like polling system on your profile page. But I just threw out the question, okay, you know, I'm putting together another YouTube series, and I want to call it, you know, either something like uh, Ancient Paranormal Mysteries or Historic Paranormal Mysteries or something like that, and the reason why I'm kind of conflicted is that, to me, Ancient sounds cooler, it sounds better, but to me, it kind of pigeonholes me into a certain uh, time period, so, you know, ancient, we're talking, um, you know, Sumerians, we're talking pyramids, and, uh, the Sphinx, Stonehenge, um, all things that I want to cover anyway, but that would preclude me, in my opinion, from talking about things like, um, like I got a bunch of stuff on, uh, John Wilkes Booth and his flight out of Washington after assassinating Abraham Lincoln. Um, being right where I am in downtown Washington right now, I can include the other pieces that I didn't have before. The only one I wouldn't have would be um, Virginia, but you know I've got the Surratt House, I've got um, the Mud House, I. I'm within walking distance from both this uh, Surratt boarding house in Washington, which is now walk and roll, and they do have the Chinese food. <laughs> kind of weird, but it's a Chinese restaurant now. And uh, Forge Theater uh, are both right there. So, um, if I go with Ancient, I can't really do that, I don't think. Um, yeah, that would be more... It's definitely historic, but it's not ancient. It's not... It didn't happen that long ago. It was 100... Um, what, 60 years ago? 150 years ago? Whatever. <laughs> so... I'm conflicted on those terms. Some people have said... Oh, and by the way, both of those are like in a dead heat within that poll. It came out, like, exactly even. Uh, last I counted was six for ancient, six for historic, and then I had three for both to do something like ancient, historic, or ancient and historic, which I've thought of. Maybe I just do both. Um, and then I was like, well, wait a minute. Well, maybe instead of mysteries, I want to do secrets. Um, you know, I mean, I, I like the term mysteries. I mean, I'm a mystery writer, a mystery author, so of course I like the term. And Secrets is cool too. I like both of them. Um, the reason why I may go with Secrets is just because, drum roll, um, it was just announced this past week, uh, toward the end of last week, might have been Thursday or something like that, that a show that Robbie Thomas and I um, have been pitching for a while is going to get picked up. And I'll have more details about that later on, um, you know, network where you'll be able to find it, you know, details of what's all going to be involved in the show, all that's coming. Um, but it did get picked up. And that is going to be, it's tentatively titled, Paranormal Mysteries. <laughs> so, um, I, I mean, my stuff is going to be on YouTube, my own stuff. 
I don't want to, like, you know, grab the title. I mean, I'm putting ancient or historic or both at the front of it. So maybe instead of going with mysteries, I'll go with secrets. I don't know. That's what I'm working on. Um, I'm going to have a little trailer for that. Hopefully by the end of this week. Uh, I started working on that over the weekend. I was doing a lot of editing over the weekend. Uh, with uh, Vanessa Hogel's new book, Giving Up the Ghost, coming out. Um, trying to get that out before the end of the month. Which I should. Uh, oh, and this is Versus, Ghost of Legends, right. So... Ancient, historic, paranormal mysteries versus Ghost of Legends. Yes, how does this shape up against my Ghost of Legends show? The Ghost of Legends has kind of been my flagship show um, ever since I started doing YouTube stuff um, four years ago now, something like that. Um, you know, I lost all of my, my view count when I created the new channel. Um, on the old channel, if anybody remembers, I mean, I had those, those views were like up, up in the thousands, it's in the hundreds right now, and, and maybe it's because everybody has, you know, seen them before or whatever, um, or maybe, I know that I had those on, um, when GTN was running, GTN had picked it up, and it, I guess it found its way in some other places, so... I guess the, with the new channel, it hasn't, which is a little disappointing. Um, but that's always been my flagship show. And those are still out there, and I still create those. I just had the Ghost of Legends episode 9, which was the old Salt and Silver Springs. But still do that. So, given the titles and what Ghost of Legends is about, how is the new show going to differ from Ghost of Legends? Okay. Well, Ghost of Legends is, I mean, it's a documentary show, which this one will be as well, but with a different angle. So Ghost of Legends um, talks about, okay, here's, <clears throat> here's the history that happened there. Here's some of the paranormal activity that happens there. Um, we give you a couple of ghost stories. We have a segment in the middle to kind of break it up where I do like a Paranormal Vines or a Haunted Hoax or Hokey or something like that. And so it gives a viewer a taste of a location of, you know, of take the mud house, because I have done the mud house with that, so you get some, you know, history of, you know, what happened with um, John Wilkes Booth coming there, and his interaction with Samuel Mudd, and Dr. Samuel Mudd, and what happened to Dr. Samuel Mudd afterward, where he was arrested, and, you know, and convicted, and all that stuff, so you get the history of that, and then you get the, uh, ghost stories, what people have experienced there. You have a, uh, a, a photograph from me um, of the bed impression, and then there's also the uh, photograph from Rhonda Dixon on Dr. Mudd coming down the stairs. So, you get history, you get ghost stories, you get some evidence. That's the show. So it gives you a taste of that location that goes on there. With this new one, and I'll still do Ghost of Legends. With this new one, I'm looking to put together a interactive show in which we are actively seeking and diving into the mysteries and secrets behind what goes on at these locations. Um, you know, and whether there's like any, I don't know, conspiracy theories or anything like that from these locations. 
dive into those and see where those rumors originate. One of the things that I've done throughout the years with, with my writing, uh, with my paranormal writing uh, especially, is I've really, really dug into the origins of, of the history behind the locations, you know, the, I talk a lot, uh, my ghostorian vlogs, one of my first ones, and I go into basically my history in the paranormal or working relationship presentation. It's basically what you're getting with that ghostorian uh, vlog. And the two things that I, that I bring up, in, in a lot of radio interviews that I do, I talk about these a lot, and even my Fox 5 um, morning show interview that I did a couple years ago. I talk about uh, the one with Ariana Calvert. So I go into Ariana, Ariana Calvert and I go into um, um, Effie at the uh, Scarborough Hotel in Oklahoma City where with Ariana Calvert all I had was a blurb of you know girl who's forlorn and, you know, depressed over missing her love, haunting the house. Where did that come from? How did that originate? And I dove into the history, went in some, you know, old texts, some old books, and dug it up. With Effie at the Scribble Hotel, um, there was no record of a chambermaid named Effie working at that hotel, let alone had a love child with the owner of the hotel and threw herself uh, from the top story window. No record of any of that ever happening. So I dove into the history, um, got in like all kinds of newspaper articles and, and things like that from back in the day, and basically was able to grab pieces of history to see how that legend of Effie was created. It's like, okay, Effie is not solely by herself a singular person, but is a conglomerate of these different things, these different um, different experiences that people were having at the hotel combined with history of some different things that happened at the hotel, and all of a sudden, boom, here's, here's this legend of Effie. So, this show is going to be more of that sort of thing, where we're going into some deep history, some, you know, getting, you know, down in there and discovering where some of these different stories and legends and history originate, um, because there are, you know, conflicting stories, there are conflicting reports, there are conflicting ideas of what really happened, especially um, with some of the ancient history, you know, you start getting into, like, the pyramids and things like that, and... Yeah, there's a accepted view from the archaeological community as to you know what the what the pyramids were, you know, which they say you know a tomb, and you have another community that looks at that and says, well, wait a second, um, there weren't other tombs like that around, you know. Where are the bodies? You know, where are the sarcophagi? And actually, if you take into account the way things are aligned, there's definitely some celestial um, parallels there. Where if you look at the astronomy, you look at the way things are aligned, that could be. Um, there's other ideas of how it was used as a uh, as an energy source. So there's different ideas and theories like that. So we'll get into that. Another one that I just recently came across, um, Gobet, Go, <laughs> like I say, right? Gobekli Tepe, um, which is the oldest temple in the world that we've ever discovered, 10,000 years old. This temple was, and there's like, I say, 
like ten bowls. It's like ten bowls. There's like uh, almost twenty of them there, and they've uncovered so far like six or eight or something like that. Um, but these were built before civilization began. Oh, man, I mean, back back when humans were you know hunter gatherers. You know how is that? How does that jive? You know why why are they why are they building these structures if they're not even building cities yet? Um, and then there's just the overall, oh, <laughs> there's some ideas out there about, you know, how humans suddenly evolved and gained this, you know, intelligence and curiosity where, you know, for millions of years, you know, species were slowly, slowly, slowly developing, and then, boom, all of a sudden, Homo sapiens shows up and starts doing all of these highly intelligent things over a very short period of time of, you know, thousands of years, and so, and some people scratch their heads as to why the sudden burst, so, We'll get into some of those things. So, we're definitely kind of expanding the scope. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's still going. <laughs> it looked like it stopped to me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, well, we'll keep going. Um, so what I was saying <laughs> is that we are um, we're definitely expanding the scope of the channel here. So, you know, it's not just ghosts. And I never wanted it to be just ghosts. There's a lot of things that go on in this world, uh, you know, within the spiritual realm. We're going to start diving into some of that stuff. So that's what um, this show is going to be. We're going to start getting into um, some more of those deeper type issues. And we're going to go through it together. You know, it's almost going to be, you know, where you're going to see me, like, doing some of the actual research. Um, where Ghost of Legends was this whole presentation. Um, this new show is going to be... You know, we're, we're, we're diving into it. We're actively seeking it out. Present along the way as we go. So, um, that, that's where we're headed. So, um, if you haven't voted yet on the poll or, you know, put a comment in or whatever, please go ahead and do so. It's out there on my um, Facebook profile page. Um, it's also on my author page and the Haunted Room Media page, and um, it's out there on Twitter as well. So, um, or leave a comment below. That's what the comment section here is for. <laughs> and let me know what you think about the uh, about the title. I'll have a trailer up hopefully by the end of this week. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So uh, that's all I got. Please subscribe, of course. Leave comments, hit the like button, all that cool stuff. And the brain's starting to pick up, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Have a good morning. Until next time.